I mean, I, I think that to some extent, um, the growth of preprints in many fields has provided a little bit of a model for how many different stakeholders who are not necessarily served by preprints um, in very obvious ways have identified ways to benefit from uh, the changing landscape and kind of rally um, toward this cause. Like for example, um, you know, approximately three years ago, uh, the position of many journals was less positive in the life sciences towards preprints. But um, I think as the conversation has sort of evolved, as there's been more demonstration from researchers, and as journals have, um, you know, I, well, some journals have taken the step of, of recruiting papers from preprint servers or uh, looking at the feedback that's left on preprint servers as a way to supplement the peer review process. I think that some of these advantages have become more obvious. So um, while obviously, you know, um, three years ago or five years ago, not every um, journal publisher in the life sciences was eager to be accepting of preprints, I think that um, the tide uh, has shifted and made it more favorable for them to do so and, and enabled them to see ways that this can actually benefit them in some ways. Mm -hmm. So I can certainly see, I, I would hope that similar um, changes could happen for different types of infrastructure. Mm -hmm.